Hi, I'm Dan Barrera, and in this video, we're going to look at importing results from the LAN tech to anywhere cloud using Wi-Fi. So the first thing is to make sure that your tester is connected to a Wi-Fi access point. And that would be shown at the top of the screen with the Wi-Fi indicator. If you're not connected to Wi-Fi, you can do it manually. Although when you choose sync and sync via Wi-Fi, if Wi-Fi is not turned on, it will automatically turn on and attempt to connect to a known access point. So I'll press sync. And when you press sync, you have two options for upload. So one is to upload to anywhere cloud, which we're going to do. And the other is to upload to a memory stick in the USB drive. So I'll choose upload to anywhere cloud. And it's giving me the message that my tester is currently not synced to a cloud account. So that's because this tester, uh, when it's brand new, it needs to be associated to an account for it to be able to upload. So the tester doesn't know um, where to put the results that it's going to upload. So to do that, we will log into our Anywhere Cloud account that we've created. And we go to the menu bar and we choose devices. And we want to add a device. So we push the plus icon. And now it's asking us uh, for the device ID. To get that, we go to preferences and right at the top, it shows the device ID. We're gonna enter that number exactly how we see it here, including the forward slash or the stroke between these two sets of digits. So on the add device window, we're gonna enter 1631210G. 1631210 capital G stroke or slash 19310009 and click submit. Okay, so the device has now been added. Now, once my land tech is added to this account, it cannot be added to any other accounts. So it will always sync to this account and even though I've read that device number over the air to you watching this video, if you tried to go into anywhere and add my device ID to your account, you can't because the system is already tied this LAN tech to my account. So you can only add a device ID that hasn't been used. So this LAN tech is now tied to my account. I can use any computer but it has to be my Anywhere account. I can delete that device ID, so I can go in and click the little bubble here um, and then choose the delete icon, and then that would remove it from my account, and then I could add it to a different account if I want to. But currently it's tied, this tester is tied to my account. So back to the home screen. We are still on our Wi-Fi. Let's hit sync and upload to Anywhere Cloud. And it's going to uh, ask me if I want to accept. And it's going to give the account name there, Lantech Dan. And we'll see that it's giving us a synchronized status. I'm gonna go meanwhile and click on jobs here. So we're sending the results to the cloud account. It tells me that it's sent four results and I can close that. Now it does take some time for the data to parse and for that to be shown here, but we can see immediately the project has shown up. So project one, and um, it's going to be processing those tests for a bit. And when it's done, we'll see the total amount of tests here um, with the numbered pass and fail. So we'll give that a second and then we'll come back to it. Okay, so now we see that the project has uploaded. It gives us the total number of tests uh, passed and failed in this particular job. And if I want to view those records, I can tap on the view button here and it gives me a list of those tests. So we can go back to our jobs list on the land tech and see that project one has uh, two tests in it. Um, port one and port two, 
port one has failed. You can see the little red uh, bar just to the left of the name there. And port two is passed, uh, shown here in the green bar. And then port three and afterwards have not been tested yet. Thanks for watching. I'm Dan Barrera.